What is going on guys, so today we're going to be talking about the new collection system that we'll be getting on the March 13th update. Now initially when they confirmed we we're going to have this collection series to our region, I was a little worried because uh, they confirmed it in a Twitter post, someone actually asked them, they answered it on Twitter. And before the live stream, we really didn't know what we we're going to be getting and I just assumed okay we're going to be getting the Korean version. and. Uh, the Korean version is definitely totally 100%, a million percent pay to win. And I'll show you a little example of how the Korean system works. So this is actually a screenshot of the pet collection system in Korea. So you'll see right here the stats that it gives is actually pretty damn high. So for example, this is a pet you can get right here. It gives you 4,000 extra HP, 3 additional attack power, and I believe that is uh, 30 defense. So this is something that's extremely pay to win because what they can do is put these cash shop pets and then you buy it from the cash shop and then you gain a 4000 HP advantage over another free to play player. Here's another screenshot of the pet collection system in Korea. You'll see right here all these pets are actually cash shop exclusive pets. Uh, Master Han, Mushin, a few other ones. So just from these three alone if you bought them off the cash shop whether from pet pouches or from like when they put them in the daily deal if you were in let's say Korea you would gain a 12,000 HP increase over a free to play player so this is obviously a very pay to win system and so again you know when they announced that we we're going to be getting in our regions I was like oh my gosh you're going to milk the whales everyone's going to be really upset why are they doing this pay to win system and then when they revealed it in the live stream I was actually really surprised and shocked because they actually changed it for our regions. So if you see right here this is actually screenshots from the Blind Soul live stream of the various different pets and costumes you can collect to gain uh, bonus stats. Shout out to uh, Banana Ninja or Banana Ninja? I don't know how you say your name but shout out to him for kind of taking all these screenshots and making it into a list so we could check it out. Also allows you to kind of prepare a little bit before the patch if you want to collect these outfits and uh, pets ahead of time. Also one thing to keep in mind Korea they only have the pet collection system. We're actually getting a costume collection system along with the pets so we get two little things to collect. Uh, you'll see right here actually the stats that they give are very very low compared to the Korean version. Uh, so for example if you collect all the really uh, garbage uh, penguin pets those really low tier ones uh, you get 10 critical damage, uh, missed at 10 and then HP by 300 so a really big difference compared to the 4000 HP uh, stat bonus you would get from like one pet in Korea. Also a lot of the pets on this list are not cash shop exclusive and if they are they're not giving these crazy stats as like super pay to win like if a whale wants to blow thousands of dollars to get like three pets to gain 400 extra HP and 10 critical damage I mean go ahead bro you do you doesn't really make sense at all also I have like a bunch of friends who have collected costumes like throughout the years just because they enjoy doing it and now they're like rewarding you for collecting costumes so I think that's a really cool idea and then not to mention a lot of them what they can do is like encourage uh, more geared players to run older content because you can get these bonus stats from collecting the costumes like for example right here Like you see some of the stuff is like I believe desolate tomb uh, right now I have zero reason to run desolate tomb ever. There's no reason and so it's a cool idea because hey, you know Maybe one day I'm bored. I'm like, you know what? I've done all my dailies Why don't I go do desolate tomb and just see if I get this costume and get like 250 extra HP? It's not a lot, but hey, why not? It gives me at least somewhat of an incentive to do it and means I'll be helping out new players because give them a faster clear and it just encourages you to run older content and I like the whole idea around that because they can really make this into a cool system. You'll see down here there's a ton of different costume sets you can get for bonus stats like uh, the one from Mushin Tower Floor 20, you get 12 critical damage and 300 extra HP if you get his uh, hair and his uh, little month costume that he has, even that Son of Mushin's Tower if you get his 3 set 250 HP. Uh, Outlaw Island if you get her set, uh, you get one attack power, 400 extra HP, so again these are not like huge stats or like game breaking but it's just a cool thing that like it gives you something to do besides doing dailies all day. So overall I have to say hats off to NC West for actually making the system not super pay to win and actually changing it for our regions because I, I just really thought they were going to put it in and make it full pay to win like their system and they really reduced the stats so hey you know. Uh, if you want to farm for costumes, you're not gaining a huge advantage, but you know, it's kind of a cool incentive. And then all the costumes on the list here, from what I could see, is all just from like running dungeons and solo content and like doing like raids and stuff. Uh, even I think for like being a crafter, crafting, I think those are weapons, the crafted weapons you get bonus stats too. So all this stuff is just really incentive to like run content together and get these costumes and pets. So 
Right now I'm pretty satisfied. Of course I will definitely keep one eye open with this system because I feel like if the game ever went like super downhill and lost even more players, I feel like NCSOP can make like a last ditch uh, milking the whales by just doing the Korean system. It'd be so easy for them to put in like cash shop costumes and cash shop pets and then make the stats that you get like really big like the Korean version like 4000 HP. It'd be so easy for them to do it because they already have the system in the game now. So yeah I'll definitely keep my eye on them because honestly with NCSOP I don't trust this company. I have like extreme trust issues with them from all the crap they've done to the game over the years. Uh, but yeah, overall hats off to them for changing it for our region. Uh, hopefully they keep it this way and don't make it pay to win because as of right now, I don't really have any complaints. I think it's a cool system. Uh, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, support the channel. Definitely appreciate it. Uh, see you guys in this video real soon. Comment what you think about this and I'm out.